So, higher criticism of the Gathas, Kenneth Sullivan Guthrie. First and the last, we were reminded of the Alpha and Omega, Revelations 22, 13, when we read in thir Yasna 31, 8, then Zarathustra understood that Mazda was both the first and youngest of creation. The poor Zarathustra seems to have been poor himself. He prays for ten mares and a camel. 44, 18. And he ascribes his failure to his poverty in flocks. 46, 2. No doubt this caused his sympathy with the poor, for whom he prays. 53, 9. What Lord destroys the Drugist and establishes the kingdom by which... Mazda, thou wilt give the justly living poor that better. And again, 34, 5, have you the power to protect your poor? Whosoever will, whosoever will, cries the revelator, 22, 17. Compare this, 22, 16 is the one that mentions Jesus as Lucifer. Compare these with Yasna 43, which opens with the salutary success to me, to you, and to whosoever will, while Yasna 30 begins in a style somewhat reminding us of the Sermon on the Mount. But thus, O souls desirous of hearing, I will utter these things worthy of being remembered by the expert knower, the praises for Ahura, and hymns of Vohomana, and things well remembered by the aid of Asha. Listen with your ears to the best information. Behold with your sight and with your mind. Man by man, each for his own person, distinguishing between both confessions before the great crisis, consider again. And that's what I didn't mention the live video that I just did earlier in the night um, about, you know, the Nietzschean thing, the breakdown of society, the we got to become the superior man for ourselves. Um, come quickly. In the last verse, but one of the Gathas, Zarathustra invokes peace on the believers' villages, peace which is to be produced by the slaughter of the enemy, adding and may it come soon. Compare this with the great cry for the coming of the Prince of Peace. Even so, Lord Jesus, yeah, it really says that. Come quickly. Revelations 22, 17, 20. And spiritual master? Yeah, but I'm not praying to Jesus. Um, but certainly the Christians did, right? Because they kind of lost his message by then. You know, Paul was between... Paul had came, invented Christianity, and left, so that book of Revelations was different than... Pity on the misled crowds. As Jesus, as Jesus felt compassion for the misled crowds, Matthew 9, 36, which the Jews hindered him from calling to himself, so Zarathustra opens one of his immortal hymns with the poignant expression of his grief. Ever has Benva hindered me and proved himself greater of us too when I, O Mazda, was trying to satisfy the misled crowds through Asha, justice, or Meyer Echoes, angel or apostle, the word Duta, 168, which comes from Dab to end off, should strictly represent apostle. Greek, apostello, but Dutia, 204, means a message, which could represent the Greek agalia, while agalos, the Greek for messenger, is the English angel. So both shades of meaning fall together. Fraeshta is derived from fra, and aesh are off, and to get into hasty motion. It would thus be more 
loosely rendered emissary or apostle, not angel, while vat, to announce, which would exactly represent agalos, is only used in the passive about an event, and not of the function of a person. Perhaps, then, it would be wiser to render these words into English by the less familiar messenger. May we be thy messengers to hold off those who hostily deceive us. 32.1 You know, word 168, I guess. And the message of the prophet who will keep them from beholding Asha. Oh, is it? Or maybe it's line 204. Uh, Yasna 32, verse 13. What is the word for verse? As we, Frasha Ashtra and Zarathustra, wish to be thy messengers forever in the age. 49, 8, 738. Certainly, it's not about fame, but we want to establish our legacy. Whichever side we're on, there's nothing wrong with the one to establish our legacy. The token. Again, we may notice dakshta, meaning a token, pledge or earnest, and compare it with 2 Corinthians 1, 22, 2 Corinthians 5, 9, Ephesians 1, 14, thus, And do thou, O Mazda, within the nature of both contending parties, set satisfaction as a token of the accuracy of my prophecy of the judgment by the metal molten through thy red fire, which as a sifter shall harm the Drugist, but profit the Asheist. Okay, maybe I should try to sing that. 51.9. The spiritual Israel. It was suggested by Herodotus that the Magi were a tribe. No doubt they were at first, but the threat of Zarathustra to the newly married couple, 53-7, that if they ever abandoned the Magian cause, they would cry, woe at the end of life, suggests that it had been come already a religious organization which could be left at will. And remember Bani Israel, the, uh, those attached to the house or the intelligence, uh, are those showing the intent, intelligence of the upright of God? Not just a hereditary thing, right? So we see that way of looking at it because blood and soil, yeah, I'm, I'm not supporting that. Um, it's a powerful tool to use, but the robe of heaven, the most bounteous spirit wears the Adam and Tyne heavens as a robe. 35. As a vesture thou shalt fold them up, sings the writer of the epistle to the Hebrews. 112. The meditation. It is well known that in the Gathas, Ahura Mazda never does anything directly, but only through some one of the other Ahuras as agent. So far, instance in 33.12. Zarathustra. I just noticed I, I may have been squeaking the chair throughout, so sorry for um, not staying still because I hurt and trying to figure out a posture that hurts less. Zarathustra prays that Ahura Mazda may grant him through Armati vitality, through Spentamenu strength, through Ada retribution, through Asha might, and through Vohu mana compensation. The divine inheritance, the Gathas, as well as the New Testament, Ephesians 1, 14, and probably others, promise of man a divine inheritance, ra'ek enna, an epoch of judgment, of rewards and punishments, 30, 11, so also of harvatat and ameratat, 33, 10, can they be faithful who through their teachings turn into sorrow, sure, Inheritances for Vohumana, 34-7. Accessoring prophet reminds us of Elijah who, though, who thought himself left the only faithful soul, 1 Kings 19-10. The giving of the spirit. Zarathustra would have the new settlers act as missionaries. 
Zarathustra would have the new settlers act as missionaries. 53. Nar, is he jealous of them? Any more than Elijah was jealous of Elisha's double portion of the spirit. Are Moses of the elders of the congregation? When Yahweh spoke unto them also, the prophet rejoices through the word which is told the expert knower. 51.8. You know, we want the best for ourselves and, you know, others too. Foolish and wise virgins, I will tell you how to sift the clever from the foolish. 46, 15. By uttering praises of the preparer who will stand for them together. With the, who will stand for them together with obedience. Who will sift The clever from the foolish, 4617. This sundering of the wise from the foolish reminds us in a distant way of the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. The faithful, the word aredra means trustworthy, are faithful. 48, 8, 50, 4 through 8. Oh, 4 and 8. It is applied to both men and to God. Are they faithful to thee, O Ahura Mazda, who, though they know of Vohumana, turn difficulties of traditionally inherited doctrine to their own advantage? 34.7. Zarathustra, who is faithful like thee, O Mazda? 43.3. Who is the faithful one who first taught? 46.9. O Frasha Ashtra, go thou with the faithful to where we both desire to be with the beloved. 46, 17. Will thy realm please the faithful? Believers. 48, 8. Zarathustra hears of the faithful entering their new homes, singing with joy. 54. Zarathustra will encompass Asha with the reverence of the faithful. 58. God is faithful. 1 Corinthians 1, 9. Paul does not hesitate to say, nor does the Gathist. Well, we're talking about joy and stuff. One of the things I forgot... The spiritual alchemy of transforming emotions are turning emotions and desires towards directions that they don't seem to be pointed was one of the things I left off in my open secrets of the Sufi comment. Faith and works. Not less in Zarathustra's day than in the days of Paul and James were human hearts torn with ever-recurring question of faith and works. The Gathist, no doubt, in some moment of despair cried, is the message I am about to proclaim genuine? Does our matey, loving disposition, support Asha, justice through deeds, 44.6, the end known to God, the end of the Lord? Jasper 5.11 J.A.S. James 5.11 I keep thinking Jasper or something. Um, it's the end of human actions known to and brought about by the Lord. Christians like to say Lord instead of God as a noun and a verb. Um, you know, because they want to make it sound like Jesus. But it's not. The knower is not to commit any of these deeds of violence. Whose fatal end thou or her Mazda best knowest? 32, 7. And... The better part. The word vahyo, better is in the gathas, frequently used absolutely in a way which is difficult to translate in any other way than the better part. For instance, O maid ye manga, Zarathustra, who has given his daughter Chisti to this Yamaspa, and who is having known through his spirit the first life, is again wishing the second, says that thou hast the better part of life, having practiced the decrees of Mazda through thy deeds. 51.19 The Beloved David There is very little love, apparently, in the Gathas, but we have the word Ushta. Oh, come on! There's a lot more mention of love. John 3.16 isn't so overwhelming that, oh, we just got to remember John 3.16 and ten other verses and act like, what, one verse every six books of the Bible? 
that's not really oh oh wait there's four in the old testament so it you know come on um it's but we have the word ushta, meaning at will, from bar, which is used as an exclamation, success to you, hail, 3310, 431, 41, 4, 51, 16, 51, 8, 30, 11, which in 46, 16 appears as follows to mean the desired, the beloved, O Frasha Ashtra, Havagva, go thou with the faithful, to where we both desire to be, with those who are beloved are desired. Jeshurun, there is in the Gathas a strange similarity between the name and office for Gaush Rvan, the soul of the kind, the representative of the whole bovine creation, and the representative of Israel. Jeshurun, Deuteronomy 32.15 Deuteronomy 33.5 Deuteronomy 33.26, and Isaiah 44.2, who waxed fat and kicked, inevitably suggesting a bovine creature. The resemblance goes further. Jeshurun is said to belong to the Lord. And in Yasna 29, the kind come to the entities with a complaint, demanding protection, and ending with the profession of a devotion. As Jeshurun is the chosen of the Lord, so... Geush Rvan represents in the midst of human violence the chosen, accepted nature of pious devotion. The lateness of the books in which Jeshurun appears suggest that not impossibly the name might have become familiar to the Jews when the Persian Cyrus, which is the great messiah of Isaiah and the book of Daniel. Not Daniel. Oh, yeah, 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 Daniel. Kurash, you know, freed them from captivity, and the Jews' friendliness to his religion might easily have be inferred from their calling Cyrus the Anointed, our Messiah of the Lord. Okay, I jumped gun. It admitted that Jesus wasn't the Messiah. There was a bunch of Messiahs in the Bible, including such a foreigner. This occurs in Isaiah 45, 1, near the very Jeshurun reference of Isaiah 44, 2. No other reasonable derivation has ever been attempted. Cheney's arbitrary and mechanical juggling of words is the counsel of despair and purely individual and fanciful. Arbitrary interpretations such as straight by Aquila, Symmachus, and Theodotian, oh, Theodosian, do not give the least explanation of why the just or straight one should wax fat or kick. The above suggestion, therefore, deserves at least thoughtful consideration. We may be close. We may close this hasty review of the echoes that happen to be familiar with us with a literary similarity. That is all the more striking from the fact that at its very nature it can be no more than a coincident expression of human nature guided by instincts more or less divine, for who, uh, for we must not fail to note that through the Gathic hymn to which we refer is beautiful, it cannot hope to pose as a rival to the sublimity of the mystic utterances into connection with which we bring it. Really? Comparing the language, particularly the, the New Testaments, even. Um, the, the way this sounds by an expert reciter, it's got to have some profound transmission. I mean, I was, I was reading a different translation of this earlier today, and the colors and the feel, and yeah, and... Oh, well, I have duty to do, so if you step aside and do that duty. Um, Yasna 33, except for the first three ver verses, which complete the subject of Yasna 32, contains a high priestly prayer, which reminds us not only as a whole, but even in its structure of the parting prayer of Jesus in John 17. We are forced, however, to make one transposition. However, we can get an entirely similar outline of prayer. First, for self-glorification, Yasna 33, 4-7, 
uh, J, what does J stand for? Um, 17, 1 through 8. Second for protection of followers, Yasna 33, 11 through 14. J, 17, 9 through 19. Oh, 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 John. Okay, John. Okay, Jay's John. I've, why did I not remember that? Third for universal conversion. Yes, in the 33, 8 through 10. John 17, 20 through 26. The Gathic prayer then closes with the touching Eucharistic oblation of the Gathic's own being. As oblation, Zarathustra would bring the life of his own body, the first fruits of his good thoughts, deeds, and utterances, his obedience, and whatever power be his, to offer them to the mindful Mazda and to the justice of Asha. And I guess next week we share the dictionary and the grammar. Um, and I try to think of spiritual things other than just, okay, this, this word comes, appears in these passages. Um, but it goes beyond that. Because really the I am the way, truth, and the light, that is something that all these came from. Not to make a church out of themselves, but I am the way, the truth, and the light. The sent one is bringing something which we're to look at. It doesn't mean we can't inflect it truthfully in our own lives or our own situations. It's There are more comparisons that can be made between Zoroastrian and Christian and other faiths, but and certainly we can leave out the racism that has made its way into this one, but Ksnatra Hurahemas Eshambaha Namas Eshambaha.